we're gonna do a walk around you open the hood and show all the mechanics of the truck first let's start with the outside of it driver's seat. Driver's seat flips up and lifts up and flips into the back of the speaker sleeper to get to the engine compartment. The engine is underneath this cover which is hard to get off. There's a passenger seat. Here's the interior. All the gauges. Radio. There's a switch for the Jake brake. The fan of course. In the back of the sleeper it's the valve for the whistle of course the horn and we'll do the other side As I said before, this cover here is kind of difficult to get off, so I'm not going to take it off. But I'll just show you, there's the motor underneath it, and the top end of it, and how you get to certain things. Of course, to do any top end work. Then it just clips on with these clips. The gear shift. Once again, like I said, the valve for the uh, whistle. There's a sleeper in the back. There's a little truck, the model of it was made after. This seat on this side too flips up, lifts up and it flips back into the sleeper. There's a access doors here. There's an auxiliary air tank I put on it because you can't have enough air on one of these things. All right, here's how you get to the engine and do these and this. Lift the hood, latches into place, butterfly doors open up, of course it's a windy cold day today, so there you go, inside here is the air cleaners, radiator of course, various electricals, shutters, Open the shutters for the radiator right here is an air piston for that. Over here is a block heater, uh, supercharger, thermostat that stuck a month ago. I had to replace that. Air compressor, phone to ignore. Side of the motor. That will start her up. <clears throat> sure, it's in neutral. And we'll rev it up without the Jake on. And then here I'll flip the switch. There she goes.
straight back on. 